What's good? This is Marcus DeFingers back at it again with another video. This is a, a follow-up to um, the FC7 volume control foot pedal. Actually, it's not a follow-up because I don't even think I posted the first video yet. <laughs> but uh, I might post some clips here while we're, while we're going over this. I got an FC7 uh, volume control foot pedal for uh, my laptop setup. Um, using my keyboard here. So I'm gonna show you what I got, how I'm using it uh, with Logic Pro X. Um, it also works on the iPad, um, but it's through the same setup, um, through my keyboard using MIDI. Uh, so we'll get right into that, so here we go. So here is the studio setup. I have uh, Logic open here, I got the iPad here. Um, but basically what I'm using is my, my, my MIDI keyboard. Let me unplug this. <laughs> using my MIDI keyboard, um, I have a Yamaha Motif 7 uh, from, uh, I wanna say maybe 2000, uh, 2000, I think I got it in 02. I think it was released in 01. Um, and I'm using a, I've got to do another video on this. I'm using this thing right here, which is a Yamaha um, MIDI to Bluetooth adapter. So I plug this in here um, into any keyboard really. And then I can uh, plug that into the MIDI in any keyboard and use that keyboard uh, MIDI over Bluetooth. So I connect the Bluetooth up to um, my computer here. If I go to audio, uh, MIDI setup. Um, this isn't supposed to be an uh, overview of this, but I'll show you anyway. So I have audio MIDI set up here. Um, if I click the Bluetooth icon here, and then once it detects it, it'll say connect, and you click connect, and it, it will connect to the MDBT01. That is the Yamaha MIDI to Bluetooth adapter. So you have that. Um, and then uh, what I can do is in Logic, once I'm connected, I can open up a plugin. Um, I'm going to show you with uh, Spitfire Labs, and I probably. Um, should have uh, some type of sound on, but I do not uh, right now just because of the way I'm recording things. But what we'll do is we'll go to labs and um, the pedal is installed down here. It's kind of dark, but um, it's basically a volume pedal. I put my foot on there and it will adjust volume or expression or whatever I assign the MIDI to. I'm gonna show you what I assign the MIDI to in labs here. Um, so this is the piano, soft piano preset. I won't, you won't hear it, so I won't play it. But what I'm gonna do is when I move the pedal, um, that's me moving the pedal with my foot. It, right now it's only adjusting um, this option here, which I believe is dynamics. Um, and what I like it to do is control actually both options. Um, I believe this one is expression or I might have it backwards. Um, but so if I hit <laughs> control and click, um, and then I can say learn MIDI CC automation, I click that. Um, and then I move the pedal with my foot and now my pedal is controlling both. So that is really great for um, string sounds, orchestral sounds, um, where you can uh, have different fade ins and fade outs using the foot pedal. Um, what I was doing was using the mod wheel here, but for me it's a lot more natural to use a foot pedal. Um, uh, I, I play organ in church, as some of you know, um, so the foot pedal uh, volume expression actually works great for this. And you can also connect it to the iPad using that same setup. Again, I won't share any sounds, but if I'm in BeatMaker 3 here, new session, and I go to settings, Bluetooth, my it's offline because it's connected to the computer, so I have to disconnect it from the computer. So I can do that two ways. I can either turn it off, turn the, the keyboard on and off, um, or I can just go back to my Bluetooth settings here and say disconnect. Um, and then over here, it says not connected. I can connect it now here to the iPad, um, and now I'm connected to the iPad, and you see it there under the MIDI devices, input devices, MDBT01 uh, Bluetooth. Um, and what I can do is play something and have that foot pedal control the volume. Um, what I don't believe you'll see right now on here is the automation uh, of the fader, but I can have the, vo the pedal control the volume of an app that I load into BeatMaker 3, and it does work. Uh, so, But yeah, having that is, uh, for me, is a game changer. Saves a lot of time, because what I was doing, especially with here in Logic Pro, is I would be recording um, let's say uh, labs is an incredible instrument by the way uh, you have um, free instruments that you can use in your production so let's say I, I'm using these ensemble strings preset what I can do is program it to the pedal connect my uh, pedal there and program the volume automation to the pedal let's, re let's reconnect it here so I got to disconnect it from the iPad um, so if you're trying to use multiple devices at once um, it helps to know how to connect and disconnect from multiple devices. Um, so there we go. So now I can use a pedal to control that. Um, what I was doing is I was um, playing with my right hand and using my left hand over here to do some of that automation. But now I can play with both hands and use the foot pedal as automation. So that saves me a lot of times because instead of doing two recording passes, one to record the actual sound and one to record the MIDI, I can sort of do it all in once, 
uh, all in one so that I can use both hands to record the sound and then use the foot pedal to record the volume automation. Hopefully that's not confusing. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Feel free to reach out uh, and I'll see if I can address them. But using that Yamaha FC7 volume foot pedal for me um, is a game changer. So uh, if you all are looking for something like that, uh, let me know and I can show you how to set it up uh, for your setup. All right. Uh, be safe and be well, everyone. Uh, and hope you all have a uh, happy Thanksgiving. I'll probably get some more videos up by then. Um, but if not, have a happy Thanksgiving. All right. All right. Peace.